Okay, guys, uh, now we have discussed lead magnets. We have discussed skills pages. I have shown you how to build a uh, lead, like a skills page for free using ConvertKit. But what matters the most is the credibility. This is very much important for a high open rate, high email open rate, or or say if you want higher conversions, your credibility matters a lot. For this, what you need to do, like, uh, during this challenge, I'm considering LinkedIn as a medium to drive traffic. But before you drive traffic from your LinkedIn profile, I wanted you to make sure that your profile looks credible. That is the uh, that is how your prospects, your your clients will validate your your talent or or your professionalism. So uh, I want you to make sure your profile is optimized and it looks credible before before you start any any kind of marketing activities. Uh, say if you are if you are writing content, if you are writing content regularly and people started getting uh, attracted to your content, the next thing they will do is they will check your profile. And then they will go through your profile and make sure you are a credible profile or your profile is credible and uh, your professional the credible profession and you are you are really talented. So I want you to make sure uh, that your profile looks credible before before you start any kind of marketing activities. Uh, I'll I'll share you the tips some some tips and some key points to. Keep in notice when you are optimizing your profile. So this is basically how your LinkedIn profile looks, right? The most important thing uh, when creating a LinkedIn profile is your headshot. So you should have a clear headshot as a profile pic. Don't uh, don't post random pictures. Uh, okay, for example, don't post a picture like this. Okay. Uh, Try to make it a proper headshot, and uh, and this this headshot should should tell your your personality. It should resonate with your personality. If it should resonate with your with your business profile or whatever. Like if you are a if you are an executive or something, um, it should be like in a professional dressing or or whatever. Like how you want to present yourself to your prospects. So that matters a lot. So make sure you have a professional headshot. And this is another uh, area which you should focus. This cover page. This is very common for all the platforms, but your profile headshot should not look like your Instagram pictures. Okay. And then on the profile on the cover image, you can tell what you provide, how, how, because this is the this takes the cover picture takes most of their attention when they are looking into your profile. And this is the place where you can design, where you can tell people. What you want to tell in your way, like in your colors, in your brand colors, you can use your brand colors. You can make it attractive. You can you can add elements. There is no other place in LinkedIn where you can design your your style. Okay, so here you can tell what you are offering, why why they should read or go through your profile. This is where you tell this. And maybe you can, if you have a WhatsApp number or how, or if you have a landing page or if you have a website, you can mention your website as well. Uh, and this is the tagline. This, this, this is also important. Don't tell that you are a copywriter or social media marketer or just, just, uh, just copywriter or something. You mentioned here how how you are going to help them in improving their business if they hire you. Because what happens here is, let me show you this. Uh, when going through LinkedIn, when you are, when you are going through LinkedIn uh, and if you find a post relevant, the next, next thing you are doing is, what is this guy doing? Founder and CEO of Study Vita, or what is this guy doing? Helping individuals and brands to scale their revenue using online marketing stuff. Or instead of that, if we had mentioned just digital marketer, we doesn't know in which segment he works. So, so if you are a restaurant owner and if this guy is 
providing marketing services to restaurants. You can mention like I help restaurants uh, get more online orders through Ziggy and Zomato using digital marketing strategies or something. And if you are a restaurant owner, you can resonate to it better and there is a higher chance you might uh, visit this profile, okay? And you might visit this profile and the next next thing you see is you you go through you go through this you go through his profile and see how credible his profile is uh, what are his past work experience and all those things there is a couple of things you can uh, you can give more importance I will I'll show you this. you can add your website here uh, like you can add your um, work experience like where you're working and you can in your uh, LinkedIn page here. These are the analytics part. Uh, what is this? Okay, here. So here there is a featured option where you can either you can link your uh, popular post where you are talking about your business you can either link your post or you can link your uh, website or you can link your calendar link like if you if if you want them to schedule a call with you you can directly link your calendar link here you can add here then you can add a post a newsletter add article add link add media or whatever those to um, highlight your skin, highlight your business, highlight your achievements or whatever you want them to see in the first place about you. This is what feature section is all about. And then you write a about, about section, there is, an, there is an option to write an about section. Don't let it be very small, like make it like two, three, at least three uh, small paragraphs, like two liners or something. But when you're writing about section, Try to include few keywords which you want to be found for. Uh, I would suggest you wherever possible, like don't, I'm not asking you to drop keywords, but wherever possible, there are there are only very few possible areas where you can write in your profile and use those areas wisely. One, one such area is the about section where you can write about your skill set and write about the area of your work. So try to add some uh, keywords in about section. Don't stuff it, okay? Try, try a little bit. And another part of the experience area. In this experience area also, you have an option to write about your work. Don't just mention your position and company and years. Also write about your work. And in this area also, there is an option that you have an opportunity to uh, link some keywords like you can use some keywords in the description and all these will help you uh, like stand out when somebody is searching for social media manager and or something like that and if you are if you are adding your social media manager keywords here relevant keywords to social media management in your description also there is a higher chance you'll be found on a top position on search so your visibility increases. Uh, and then you have option to add skills and people can endorse. I think this is very basic, but, but still you can add all your relevant uh, skills. And now when the recent update, what they have done is you have an option to add the skill set in your job section also. So when you, when you write a job experience, you have an option, they'll ask you for, the skills you used in that job or skills you gained from that job. So you can use that option as well. So these are the few basic things about uh, LinkedIn. But if you ask me what was the most important part, I would such I would tell you the headshot, the tagline, because this is what people care a lot about uh, when seeing your post, when you are sharing content every day. So first is headshot, second is the uh, tagline, third comes the cover cover picture, and then of course your featured section and about about section, make sure about section is precise and tells exactly what you do. Um, don't be reluctant to add a contact information or 
also like if you have an email id or or if you want some whatsapp call or whatever your preferred media is you can you can mention mention it there yeah. and then of course you can add your past experience to to give more credibility to your profile yeah the and if you have any certificates like don't add random certificates but if you have any relevant certificates and or anything which you can prove say uh, a certification course from google or facebook or some some relevant companies you can add your licenses and certificates here in, in the profile itself so so that they get to know that you are you are actually certified to do the task you are to perform the activities you you promise them you will do okay that is something you have to do and optimizing profile don't don't neglect it because that is what gives credibility to your message and that is what helps you having a higher open rate and higher conversions if you if you noticed my my convert kit landing page had 79% uh, like opt in rate okay so if you want a higher opt in rate like that make sure your profile is credible your appearance is credible uh, your bio is credible okay and we'll be discussing more about this uh, on the next class on traffic traffic session tomorrow probably Okay, guys. I'll I'll show you how to set up a uh, calendar meeting, how to set up a uh, meeting scheduling, call scheduling software, and how to make it more about uh, setting up your prospect for sales, making him ready for the sales kind of thing. In the next video, see you.